All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Creature Corner. I am your host, Jared Krzyzewski. Uh, Very exciting show for you tonight. Uh, And uh, before I get to that, I'm going to introduce my co-host. You know him as the Killard Millard himself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Matt Millard. Hey, Matt Millard. Matt Millard. <laughs> Here I slim, am. Slam. Flippity flippy. flippins. Um, well, Matt, do you know our special guest tonight? Uh, no, I've I'm not familiar. Okay, well, let me uh, let me introduce yeah. uh, uh, our special guest tonight because we have a titan. We brought a titan of design with us uh, for this evening and i'm just so excited to have him with us on creature corner um he has worked on i uh, i mean so much uh so many blockbuster movies and uh games and television shows uh for over 15 years um and he has been uh i've, I've been fortunate enough to have worked with uh jared and um have been mentored by him and in fact, I owe uh, so much of what I'm doing today to Jared. So I'm very excited to have him with us. Um, before we do that, I'm just going to take you on a little on a little tour here. I've got his um, art station up, and I'm going to uh, mm. single that out here. Uh, and uh, for those of you who are joining us uh, now, I'm going to pop his uh, art station link in the chat for you guys to all peruse at your uh at your pleasure but uh the amount of uh work uh from from jared is just it's magnificent i mean it's uh, yeah it's breathtaking it's sure. breathtaking really uh he's worked on uh marvel and dc films uh worked in television um his i i would say his designs are are uh, uniquely Jared, uh, because they're so, is so very dark, uh, sometimes. So Jared is just a master of, uh, 2d, he's a master of 3d. Yeah, um, his, his work has just spanned so many films and, uh, so many years. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, bring him on board. So please welcome, uh, the man himself, Jared Morantz. Hey, Jared. Hey. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello. Good to Welcome. Such a very uh, flattering so, intro introduction. Wow. I, Dude, I it's probably, an honor to have you, man. I probably didn't even do it justice. Thank you. Um, uh, no, you so, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> So Jerry, actually, I think it's been more than fifteen years. I think I've been at it for like yeah. I wanted to say more. Now, isn't that scary? Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you you had like when we when we met, I think you had had like ten years already. So I was like, it's, I wanted, yeah, it depends. I want, I want to say that. Yeah, it depends when you start counting. I was really lucky. Uh, <laughs> Uh, had an internship at a at effects house when I was a kid. Um, and, and so at the time, counting from there, and so mm, that, that would have been that would have been a very long ship. I was 14 and I'm 39 now. So that would be 25 years. Jeez. Yeah, I, 25. I, can't do, wow. I can't do the math. That's too many years. <laughs> but you know, it, it's it was was a start it wasn't um after after college it was just you know um legitimate show after legitimate show as That's you know sick. which was it was different than starting early sweeping floors maybe they'd let me do some sketches um <laughs> but i think yeah. my time back then you know with with you know the veil of delusionment uh lit did and like I just gotten everybody's way helpful. Um, I was a burden. <laughs> yeah. So I think my career, honestly, I, I'd say after college is, is probably the right, the most the most honest description. I think. When you felt like you were officially like you're working, you're you're doing yeah, you're you yeah, 
would you say you found your 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 voice after college or i mean i i, I know you i know your work so well from your from your early like high school stuff um so i i see that development but do you do you feel like mm -hmm. after college is when you like settled into it no i think when you when you're Designing for yourself, it's a very different thing. A lot of people are exceptional at designing for themselves. You know? Yeah. It's um, hard to uh, say that, that, you know, that's not, not concept art. Uh, you know, concept art designing right. around the limitations of a project. And right, right. I think it's problem solving at the end of the day. So Great. my voice on the job trickles in. You know, by the time you, I get to like what I do, um, what, what, who I am is maybe iffy, you know, like 50 to 60% uh, on screen. And then, of course, you're just, you know, taking notes and it works out not just with the story, but with, you know, the director's sensibilities, the studio sense. So mm -hmm. maybe, maybe maybe 50 sometimes i got on like like one or two things where um, um you know some cool thing about really any revisions it's rare but you know it's like okay that's 100 percent solution to their problem um but all that's those awesome. choices that i made were you know influencing uh the client and the story mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know, what what they were looking for yeah i don't I don't know what my voice would be. I think, hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. It's, it's, I'll, it's I'll say this. Yeah. I'll say this is because I, I see the essential you in all of your pieces. And, and this is because we know each other well. Um, you know, yeah. uh, I, I think before we, we dive into it um, too deep, let's talk about how we met um, <laughs> because it's a fun story. Uh -huh. And and I'd love to hear um, I'd love to hear your take. My take uh, is it. I, um, I, do, I love. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, go ahead. I love telling the story, but you know my my concern um, in it is uh, you know I I see you as a peer, you know. So I, I I'm always hesitant to say at times. Times, you know, I, you I'm like, oh yeah, we, you know, we work together, because um, you've gotten, you know, we've seen you, I've seen you just skyrocket, and so I don't want to diminish that in any way. But you know, uh, we met at, at Noman. You, you took. Um, That's right. I don't, I don't remember how long I was teaching, um, but uh, I was, I was working. At at a uh, um, and they were doing a lot of design work, and a moment uh, to, to teach everyone a valuable lesson. It's my favorite educator uh, ever, but um, you know, you were always so focused. Like I remember just the way the students would pick. You know, they sat in my class, told me a lot about you know, what they're involved in. And you were like, you were to my left, just staring into my soul. <laughs> like every, every, you're like five feet away. And you're like, you're, there, were, there were different classrooms. There's the one with the big steel, really, you know, superior. And then there was, there was this other room where, you know, same level. It was really nice. Um, but, you know, some guys' backs would be people to the side. And you were just, you were just like right here. <laughs> 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 like absorbing thing and um you you showed promise but importantly and and i, I i've come to realize this is an educator showed uh life. and you know natural talent i've seen so many people crash because um you know there's a reason why they call it a gift because it's it's and when it's effortless and you've been been riding on effortless so long um you don't 
know what to do when when something challenges you. You you were very good, but you were also like you were excited and and yeah. ambitious. I had this thought because I I was working at this visual complex house, and I remember up and I told I told the boss I was like, you know, I could recruit guys right out of my class, you know, because they had such a, a clear pipeline at this studio. Mm -hmm. like, awesome. And so I had a feeling you volunteer when I put it out there um, because, because, you know, after a couple of this guys listening um, and I did that, I said, hey, just, you know, in the middle of my lecture, it was very um, abrupt. I was like, uh, maybe it wasn't that abrupt. I was like, oh, hey, there's a potential internship at the studio I'm working um, with. Who wants to, who wants to do it? Shut up. <laughs> so <laughs> Hell <fast>. yeah. <laughs> and I remember I was just like, okay, perfect, you. And then done. And then we yeah. done. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I love that. I love that because <laughs> it, it went to the right guy. You know, you were paying attention. And also it taught everybody in that room a very valuable of just like, go for it. There's the opportunity to put yourself out there so i'm there were a lot of wins you know i got you in the studio and then all of them valuable lesson and i i haven't been able to match that experience as an educator since um it's it's funny because uh from from my reaction uh when when i was taking your class um that was my light bulb that was my light bulb moment uh because before before that, we were taking lots of different classes in different fields of CG. And oh. uh, so like you're you're doing texturing, you're doing animation, you're doing a little bit of everything. Right. And when I when I was in your class, it was production design. And right. uh, that was the only real production design class we have. And um, and so the first it was it was split into two halves because Hong Lee was the front half, and then you were the, oh, the this back was half. Very, this, this was very, very early. Very I long ago. Long. Yeah. Everyone else is, but my everyone's saying. Uh, sorry, everybody's saying in the chat that that I'm lagging a bit. Um, well, so no, it, you or me. This uh, is the problem with having two. I yeah, know. There's, I know. there's two uh, of you, so it's. <laughs> Uh, it it could be either one of us, but is uh, oh they're saying you're you're lagging. I'm gonna I'll quit. Photo. I have a ton uh, of stuff. Yeah. Open in Photoshop. You just like run I've, Counter Strike. All my the background. Th this this was by the way for everybody watching. This was the um, this was the problem we had in studio because they're like yeah yeah Jared and we're like which one. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. So I became. Was, gay. I had that thought too. Yeah. I got to keep my name uh, out, of, out of seniority. And uh, uh, yeah, yes, see, yeah, yeah, and, and, and being the superior Jared uh, <laughs> for the time for the time being for the time. Uh, uh, no, you, no, no, you, no, you no, sir. Up. Up, mm. sir. Yes, you did. Um, okay, how much uh, now? I got rid. I had tons of stuff up. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, if you had like Dropbox or a lot of additional, like I had to drop out of um, some other stuff as well. Um, but we're we're gonna mm. we're gonna keep going because like you're you're going fine for me. I yeah, I mean you're you're going fine for me too, man. So uh, it, my my thought is is that we're just getting a lot of traffic at the moment, which is great. That is possible. Um, it does so, look like a bunch of people popped in. Yeah, I, um, I I'm, I'll quit. Hold on, I'll quit ZBrush too. I mean, it should just be like really. It should be internet. Stuff. Yeah, it should be oh, internet related. Oh, they said uh, it's getting better. So whatever you're doing is working. I, I had. <laughs> and, okay, and there we go. I'm good. Much getting better. Much better. It was yes. all Photoshop. Yeah. yeah. So, so I was, there it is. I was telling. I was telling Krzyzewski, because we also called you Krzyzewski. We called. We uh, called me Krzyzewski. I was telling. Yeah, I was telling Krzyzewski. Um, 
Well, I'm a Jared saying Jared, so I wouldn't. Name, so, okay. All right, so we told, uh, I, I was talking to Jared <laughs> before, and I'm telling him that I'm now uh, drawing on all of my projects. Yeah. In Photoshop, That's awesome, I have man. everything up. I love, mm -hmm. love drawing. Um, it takes, you know, it takes a while to uh, get to it and to do it effectively, but when yeah. you are drawing a lot it, it, if you can um, yeah. find a way to, to be good then I, I think honestly that's that's what I would do differently I think you would, myself, just, you would draw more yeah draw and paint more the you industry can... mm -hmm. but let me let me ask does. you this uh, but, you know hmm. you're 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 I, I know I know you and so obviously you're great at drawing and then all the the Alien Outlaw stuff, but do you feel like 3D gets you to finish, like to a to a level of uh, I, I want to say like I mean because like looking at looking at this I mean this is like yeah. this is it you know it's it's there's no question it's all it's it's all right there you know there's no guesswork it's like boom yes. this, this is the design yeah I mean it. Yeah, everyone in the room knows, which is a big, yeah. a big deal. So, if you are on a project, and now I'm concepting uh, a wide range of things for one project, so hard surface stuff and monsters, and you know all, all types of just costumes. Every so when you're moving that broadly, and, and I'm the only yeah. artist, um, um, the director fortunately can read a napkin. To so oh, that it makes no sense. Yeah. yeah, render after render after render. Thank God. <laughs> and um, it's great. The funny thing is, is mm -hmm. you know, I'm very curious to see how it will go. I've now almost every assignment. Um, so will he want me to refine it in 3D, or will he pass it along mm -hmm. to a model? You know, I'm very, right. I'm very curious. But it's it's a yeah, much that's... more efficient way to do design. That's one of those story. crazy things about that's one of those crazy things about clients, man. Is like some of them can actually kind of understand like visually what the direction is. You know, uh -huh. they can they can see beyond like just your initial sketch. And then other people like you send them a play blast or a gray model, they'll be like, "Why is it gray? Is yeah. it always going yeah. to be gray?" <laughs> and then and it becomes this focus, and it's like you're literally not looking at any part of the image because they can't understand it. So getting those clients, yeah. like you're saying, if you can scribble on a on a napkin and they can kind of see the direction and they understand that language, I mean that's one of those like like you know praise the praise the God moments, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's very rare, and you know part of the process of you know being a concept artist is just figuring out who you're working with and what they can what they can do. Back, back in right. the day. I used a physical portfolio with me, and based, I, I'd use it as a tool and have the job, uh, but it would be like, like, okay, focus on, are they focusing on just everything that's resolved? Can they look sketches, or are they blowing by sketches and just looking at like 3D renders, mm -hmm. you know, right. that in mm -hmm. for that person. So it... it it was it was very that doesn't happen i just get you know calls and um i i hope that you know uh you know the drawings in my in my portfolio um right that way but you know it really depends who you're working for it also depends on you know how to run a show but like that i'll have a huge influence yeah mm -hmm. on, like when i'm at uh, marvel for example you know i know that that there are multiple artists, and so right. I might only get. I, I don't have to print much. I could probably just generate a couple of images that I think are right. I don't have to sketch, um, and mm. and you know, depending on who else is stack of JPEGs, um, um, I might have to really resolve my design just. So that it's missed because you you don't know you don't know who the 
client is, you don't know what they're used to. Clients can easily is fully resolved as a good design. Right. Or, or they, they think they can't tweak it. You don't want to right. the, the patchwork not executed. They can't, yeah. But another thing. That's why I feel like oh, yeah, you're cut, with all this technology. You're cutting out pretty bad. Um, you have to turn it in. It's bad. Nope. Okay, so Jared, you're you're cutting out on us now. Yeah, I'm yeah, I don't know. Out. You were cutting out. All right, you're you're you're, you're cutting up. You're cutting up, but it it got better for a second. It's the okay, beauty of the of internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> quick preview. I'm gonna. What is it? Okay. Is your computer coin operating? Only the only thing I currently have open is one now. Let's quit this. Let's quit this. One image in Photoshop. That's all I got. How dare you? I can't <laughs> believe yeah, I it. <sighs> Choppiness so cool. went way up. Hmm. Am I still choppy? It uh, got better. Yeah. yeah. I wonder. Okay. Are you then, uh, are you Wi-Fi or are you hardlined in? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. There it is. That might be it. Yeah, it's the Wi. It's the Wi-Fi. It's the Wi-Fi. Well, we can't we can't control the internet. Uh, you know, we have no power over that. But we'll we'll do the uh, best we can. Uh, okay. Well, it says no. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Right. They're oohing and eyeing over the work, which is they, they uh, thoroughly ooh and eyeing. Ooh and uh, ah, 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 Fun stuff. Fun projects. I've been very lucky. I forgot what I was even saying. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was saying <laughs> was that I feel like, like in terms of presentation, you need to be clear. Uh, what it is is it or is it a sketch so when i turn in drawings i will deliberately make them keep them loose or i might keep line uh, yeah. in there just so that it's it's obviously this isn't the final you don't have to be intimidated right. by this give me notes whereas um yeah, yeah 3d render 3d render you know you guys sometimes locks people up Oh, it does, man. You get you get way locked up because they start focusing on one little thing in the render, and it's like, I don't know, go, like going back and forth over little things. Whenever it's not a broad stroke, it becomes a little tedious and aggravating for sure. Yeah, it does. the job is people keep asking for these um, for working with clients, and if you're if you're freelance. Um, man, every, every job is completely different. Completely it does feel different. like it's all different. And there's so many. Hmm? It does feel like it's all different. There's no, there's, there's no consistency because you might get a, like a new director who's never worked with, uh, a concept artist before. Uh, I had a, I had a similar thing happen where new director got a feature film, horror monster, never worked with the concept artist before. So it, it, the, and in some cases, you know, I was kind of one of the first people outside of, of the writers or uh, the producers. And this was his first experience, like actually kind of getting to direct somebody like. <laughs> right. And, and so that was a totally unique and different experience because I had to like walk them through the process. Oh yeah. Yeah, every time it's uh, that, that's the one consistent thing I would say. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The one, the one consistent thing is that it's always inconsistent. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Jared, let me ask you this: Do you feel like your 
thought process has changed, not just like the 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 process of uh, you know digital or or drawing, but has your thought process changed at all? Uh, it a bit, and it, it's interesting. It hasn't been through concept art. It's been through and directing. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I recommend that every concept artist write a script or, or tries to direct a film, even if it's on a small scale. And it made me a better designer. It made me, because there's nothing more mm -hmm. frustrating than being a concept artist and, you know, wondering we don't have answers. You know, it's just like, what is yeah. the character... Yeah. Like, why I'm designing in a void? What the hell? So, yeah. a sympathy for it, um, and also by, by telling stories with words, um, which is really, I think that's the most artistically fulfilled I've. Um, I I really understand the subtlety in and what I can use in the script as a age for what the design has to be you know so uh those have have really helped me become a better, better designer and especially in environment because sometimes i'm i'm in an environment where i'm the only art or, you know i'm i'm where they're spending their money so i'm the most experienced art but, you know sometimes you know again like at marvel uh <laughs> Everybody's good. Right. Um, right. Most people are better. <laughs> so, so it boils it down to okay, based on all I have, you know, what the director's sensibilities seem to be, what's happening in the scripts. And this is my best guess. And it's the guess that that the design, not not the level of finish. Um, take it yeah. there. If not, yeah. Better. Yeah. So, That's you know, a in a lot of in, in done a lot of Marvel characters, I, I guessed right that time, but, and right. it's very hard too because you might not have all the information. A lot of people just changing constantly. You know, the story. Yeah. Story is changing constantly. Characters are being added. Things are being uh, all the time. So. so it's it's a moving target. So understanding story and what that character has to do, how that character has to to the audience, uh, that that will get you guessing. Yeah, we would always have that. Uh, we would always have that kind of joke in in the the VFX house whenever we were all doing design together. Jared and I, it'd be like, okay, you're working on a project for a couple of weeks. You send off your, you know, third res third revision, fourth revision, and they come back a week later. Okay, well now it's an elephant, and you're like, what? Yep. <laughs> you know, it's like it's some random ass shit, like out of nowhere. They're like, you know, <laughs> we're we're a month into this, but now it's completely different, and you're like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and the the older you are, the less of a kick to the to the face that is. <laughs> Um, but I remember in my twenties, it was like, man, that, that would get me every time. Yeah. Like, man, <laughs> why don't they get it? They're wasting mm -hmm. my time. There was a scene in, uh, in American history X that, that really, really defined, uh, the job. Uh, so there's a scene where Ed Norton is in and he's, you know, making friends with his inmate in the laundry room. Right. And mm -hmm. he wants to get through the laundry, you know, so he like lies down the chute and he's folding it really fast. And, he's doing it and, and his friend's like, dude, it's going to come to shoot. It doesn't matter, you know, <laughs> how hard like, it's just going to keep coming. And that's that's the bottom line happening. As a concept artist, they don't peace. They have your time. <laughs> yeah. They have you for you know, the duration. Yeah. yeah. So. For the duration, they're just gonna throw whatever at you, and mm -hmm. you got to make it cool. So that that's it. It's just it's just endless laundry. You and hopefully you like drawing <laughs> and painting enough. 
I like that. You're like, That's yay, cool. more laundry. But yeah. It, yeah, and and now you're you almost look forward to the laundry because it means you yeah. you've got more to fold. In a way, yeah. And I, also, like, how how naive was I to to be unhappy and to draw and paint all day? You know. Yeah. Right. It was just like like oh, you have perspective whatsoever. <laughs> you, know, you naive arrogant little you know? <laughs> just enjoy it but that that's the one thing when it gets when it gets frustrating you know it's just like a ditch <laughs> you know I, i'm not yeah risking my life i'm sitting here and i'm a why am i unhappy it's not yeah. so absurd but i i've always thought of it as uh well and and since we're we're talking about quotes from famous things that changed our life uh there's a quote from mad men where she says uh dissatisfaction is a symptom of ambition mm -hmm. because it's the Ooh. coal that fuels the fire mm -hmm. good that's yeah. really good uh, i i heard that quote and i went oh my god <laughs> yeah yeah um that's cool but it's that, that but it's because you're crazy. ambitious that you're unhappy, you know, that we all, that we all are, you know, yes. uh, uh, we all want more, you know? Yeah. That's the, where no, that is it. Um, you, you uh, had mentioned writing and you had mentioned um, directing cause you directed a short and mm -hmm. you, you wrote and directed this short, right? Mm -hmm. It was my wife. Yeah. And, yeah. And uh, with your wife, and um and you've you've also written other things that i you know as long as i've known you you've been writing as long alongside the designing um let me ask you uh how how do you balance that how do you find a good balance between like focusing on the art and then focusing on you know the the ambition that's there oh well balance is a constant challenge it'll it's never laundry. it'll never be right you'll never <laughs> yeah it's always, it's always there um and you know it's something that you need to achieve but it, it is an abstract concept and I, I i don't know i think it just boils down to what do you want and what are you willing to throw at it uh and i've always been sated uh with conscious consciousness so i was like i really want to write this thing uh, uh and i also concept art and paying off my student loans and now it's like yeah like, just keeping my family up. so That's what right. what am i willing to throw at it you know so it, yeah it's either student family making sure that they have the best life that you could possibly provide um so it it boils down to yeah how badly do you want to uh, hold on to these ambitions? And so, yeah, I've just not slept for years. <laughs> and yeah. it's been wonderful. I, I don't, I don't recommend <laughs> it. I know it's not for everyone. Because um, I, I do take on, I do take on a lot. Of, um, something that, that's actually uh, currently is that uh, my animated project very good place it's it's with you know, you know a producer in my producer like i got i got the guy he liked the guy. my project it's awesome he, he put it out there and and so awesome. he has it and we're waiting you know a market for original properties mm -hmm. you know yeah. which dates will be soon so with, with that pipe dream in the right uh for the last year i've been able to just be a con is a tremendous relief actually to not, hmm. not have that uh that back That's so cool. it's yeah it, it, it's it's a tricky thing um yeah they're always any any, any concept artist that's pushed um always talks about what's next Oh, well, we, yeah, we've all, yeah. 
um, many uh, many concept artists who who I've watched as um, I've kind of come in, they all take an attempt at at like a short film, or yeah. uh, they 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 go to developing a comic book property or uh, some kind of thing in yeah. addition to whatever it is that they're creating because they they realize that you know I'm building all these worlds for other people. I need to start doing that for myself. Right. I mean, in, in I think that I think everybody should do that. Also, uh, I mean, a few points to that. It makes the job healthier. I think yep. um, trying to get all of your artistic fulfillment the job is a huge mistake. And yeah, it's big time. You actually have to distance yourself. You know, you have to kind of keep it. At, 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 it's like it's a great relationship um, but if you give it a hundred percent art then it will smash it you know oh, yeah so oh, yeah man you know, like I keep big the time. career as a as a close acquaintance mm -hmm. never a best friend <laughs> um, <laughs> and by by having your your home you know your 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 script or or, you know your series of uh, is um, it helps to contextualize the job in a and that, that's also been very beneficial I used mm -hmm. to I used to put every concept art and when it didn't go my way it would it would hit me and, yeah it would, uh, it's that like doesn't, devastating yeah yeah all right and it's not yours the most important yeah thing. yeah you yeah, it's not your movie. Remember, it's, it's not your, not your movie, show. Though. It's not any of that. You're, you yeah. know, you want it to be yours. <laughs> your little, it's your little niche. It's your little contribution, and then no matter how big your contribution is, um, it will wait in time. <laughs> yeah, and you know something is going to take its place. So, you know, enjoy it. Again, we're very lucky, and um, don't, don't lose sight of what the job actually is. Um, mm -hmm. And that you know, that takes years to figure that out. Not not just to actually accept it, you know. I uh, I think the the hard part is that the job requires a piece of of your excitement. You know, it, it requires a piece of your heart. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you are yep. often the first person to hear something, to see yeah. something, and you have to be excited before anybody else is. Right. And you have to give something that you believe like the fans want, that you as a fan want. Uh, and then yep. uh, and then you have to be completely prepared to let it all go. So yeah. it requires a big chunk totally. of it. And then you then it <clears throat> then it's gone, you know, and uh, and once yeah. it's out, it doesn't belong to you anymore. It's not right. your secret. Yeah, and no. you know, there's there's that whole no. there's that whole other aspect too of all of the other work you're doing besides just the design work. Like you are delving into the world, you're doing research, you're learning about characters, you're like if it's based off of a property, you are digging shit up from the last fifty years on a property, just trying to learn what angles to take. Where have other artists been? You know, like there's a lot behind or in front of the actual design work so after it's all said and done like you're saying it it kind of has that extra layer of i did so much for this <laughs> you know only yep. for it to whatever it, it requires a, it requires a, was it a worth great... it i mean I... <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately i mean you're just learning cool stuff all day right but yeah, but then again stuff. but then again you designed batman yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty fucking rad, dude. That's pretty fucking <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs> that yeah. is pretty sick. You know, yeah, I, I remember when uh, I remember a phone call that we had uh, at one point, and you had mentioned you were uh, because I was I was talking to you. I think it was about going to ILM at the time. And um, oh yeah, I remember that. Remember that. And I remember yeah. in you, you had mentioned, uh, you're like, I'm working on the greatest suit of my lifetime. 
you were I thought you were, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like uh, I, thought, I mean yeah. <laughs> But let me let me ask you this. The second suit. Let me ask you this. Um because mm-hmm. you are you were working for uh as a costume illustrator with Michael Wilkinson on this, correct? Okay. Yes. Um, did you mm-hmm. Did you ever uh, talk to Zack Snyder at all about what he wanted, or was uh, was the direction strictly from uh, from Michael? The notes were relayed from Michael. I had like one or two conversations with Zack uh, on Batman versus Superman, and we had done. I had done. Uh, actually, so I started. I started with Constantine Securus on on Batman yeah. at the Warner Block for for Batman, and then Keith Christensen came on board, um, and then uh, yeah, I mean it was it was incredible. And then my buddy Warren Manser uh, came on yes. board. Warren is a legend. Constantine is yes, a legend. Uh, awesome. And it's, I was. It's, uh, was, it's the magnificent the costume. Heaven. Yeah. They're absurd. Yeah. Um, so Michael, I was one of the first people to start with with Constantine, and so us notes of like just types of of tech, do a military, do this, do that, and so oh, cool. I had done that, oh, and okay. then we got the note that Zach wanted um, turns, and oh. I was ecstatic. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> so, so at the end of the day you squint at that batman um and yeah. so what ended up happening was constantine was on batman keith was on batman and i was on Batman. i believe zach liked the artwork i was i was producing so I, you know a lot of the broad strokes there are like some some cool things I got in there, like the exposed knuckles. Um, oh and, yeah, and then you know, and then between me and Keith, and then it was just me for a while, and then this whole like I started this uh, this out, and then I had to go back on. So um, the way these productions work, work is, you know, there's a budget, so uh, they start cutting artists. So around on the end, it was just me and Warren Manser, who's again insanely talented dude. He did, you know, the Tobey Maguire spike, which is like the uh, archetype of oh, like, yeah. this new wave of hadn't been done like yeah. that before Spider Man. So the dude is uh, sitting in the same room with him was was just like you know. I remember I had taken the suit this far. Um, th- that was my original sketch, and, and Zach liked it. So you'll notice at the bottom, that's 2D. Um, so I think that's that's the framework right there. Zach liked that. Wow. And then I started in suit in 3D, and then I did the painting above, painted into that a, a bunch. And then Michael had me go back on to the bath suit, a few things. I think I also spent some time on the other heroes. Um, That's and insane. then Warren ended up taking the the mech suit. The rest of it. look at later wow. images of of the mech suit. You'll see Manser's name on the same image because he was mm-hmm. painting directly on top of this. Gotcha. And that that's a that is a huge honor uh, to share with with that's awesome, these man. guys. And, that is awesome. And what yeah, you're you're not before, working in a in a vacuum most of the time. Anyway, right, right, and um, it is cool to share. Uh, so, Jared, we're getting uh, a couple questions through. Uh, okay. Dope Pope, and uh, if if you don't know Dope Pope, his his work is fantastic. I do. Uh, Dope yeah, Dope Pope. We worked um, together recently. Actually. Oh, really, dude? That's Dope awesome. Yep. That's amazing. Small world. Um, so Dope Pope wants to know, is yep. there such a thing as over-delivering? Um, is this something you've experienced? Um, yeah. Personally, I'm an, I'm a, I believe in over-delivering. 
Mm. But well, what are you delivering? Artwork or just busting your ass? Uh, I'm I'm have... assuming he means artwork. Like you just bust your ass as a part of it. Oh well, he did. He does the dope pope. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he he's a beast. A um, lot of options. He's a very good guy. Uh, so I think it depends. Um, the way that I work, if I'm working in 3D, I usually have, and if I'm working with, in the scenario I was working with, with Dope Pope, a couple of us. So I think, I think there were like three of us. And so I was designing on that one. I would only turn in like maybe one Asian because, you know, there were two other guys. Or if we were sketching, I'd do tons of sketches just as many as I could mm. was in 3D then I'd, I'd kind of put all my eggs in one basket um, right. so it, it really did in the design pipeline like for Thanos for example um, everybody was working on that and so I was that okay I, I have three good ideas the ideas is better than the other two so I'm just going to model the one good idea <laughs> and, and hope it works out and because of the um, and because so many other artists were contributing to that stack I was able to do that in my first pass on this one uh, I would say everything the uh, belt up I, I I nailed it like they loved it and that yeah. character you know um, but this guy went through a few a few iterations already gotten very close to getting the design approved before this like a spartan version where you know it was more fabrics those uh liked it but feige didn't like it so i went from huh. this incredible mm. high of like oh my yeah. God, character and then the rug is just like pulled out from uh, yeah. oh yeah everybody's, man everybody's, yeah everybody's uh. starting again so <laughs> So I got him, and then they took him away, and then um, I came up with this. So what I ended up, I took a screenshot of my old version, and I painted something really fast. Um, and I showed it to uh, Ryan Minerding, the department, and I said, I want to do this. And then, yeah, I just, I, I just went for it, and they liked it and everything. And then there were a few tweaks on the... Uh, the thighs and the knee pads, five or six different knee pads, but I, <laughs> I got it. And uh, wow. I came up for the double sided blade. So, the blade is uh, similar to what, what's um, except they're of equal mm -hmm. size and, uh, you know, props. Big, that big wedge. Very, very sexy. Yeah. And, and I got that idea from um, uh, Jonathan. John on stop. Uh, mm -hmm. so he's, mm -hmm. he's a phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal artist. John, John is incredible. Really yeah. He did an image of Thanos with a slightly larger light in one of his pieces. So it looked like, it, I mean, it literally looked like a sci-fi meat cleaver. And that's a cool shape. And so I turned it into this long, double-sided, uh, and that, that's where uh, I that got... I like yeah, that because yeah. it, it it calls to him being a butcher, you know. Exactly, a butcher of people and worlds. Exactly, that's very this cool. This is about you know very very cool brutality. And so, I saw John was doing, and I was like, "Yep, that's that is right." And you know, I bring something, and you know, I've 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 told that story before, um, but you know, Stubbs you know probably one of my favorite artists and. He he touched on something like in in, yeah. in that piece. It was just like, oh, that's I get it. I get. It. Um, so yeah, there's there's everything's a journey. Nothing really exists in a vacuum. Um, and yeah. I've been I've been honored to work with like so many amazing artists. Um, it, it it makes it harder to take a compliment. I'll tell you, it's it's really. It's really interesting. Like every now and then, you know, there's something nice about my work, and uh, and now at this at this stage, I'm just like these other guys. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen this? 
guy? <laughs> like, like this guy instead of me, <laughs> you know? Uh, so it's, it's, it's been interesting. It's been, it, it is humbling. And I think the, the more you do it, the, the more humbling it gets. Uh, yeah. When exactly. you're young, you're, it's, you're, you're kind of a hot, you think you're hot shit. And, um, yeah. and then you get older yeah. and uh, I, I'm sure you've experienced this, but like you see young dudes come up and they're doing amazing work and you're like, Oh my yep. God, I'm, I'm through. Uh, you know, they're, these guys are so good. There's, yeah. There are a few that come to mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I know. I know a few. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but I don't feel I've been proud that I have not, I haven't felt that like threatened. Um, I, haven't, I haven't felt threatened. I've been excited. Uh, most of them are very yeah. nice and none of them are as um, hot-headed as I used to be, <laughs> which is which is interesting. It was just like, how are you that good and no hockey as I was? <laughs> how did that yeah. happen? Maybe uh, uh, so there's there's some really maybe. Uh, well, for one, I mean, you you started very young, uh, yeah. So you you knew. I I would I wouldn't say you knew right away, but like, you know, that's more than a lot of people get. Like, uh, I, I figured this out, mm -hmm. you know, when I was, uh, ap approaching 30. And so, you know, you were, you were very young and you were, uh, also in a very cool place, uh, very early on. So, I mean, yeah. uh, so I took it, it for it, granted it made, easily. Yeah. I mean, and, and, uh, you know, that's, that's youth, uh, doing that to you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. got a, got a question here in the meantime. Um, which I think is a great question is what do you have to learn besides anatomy to design characters? Uh, you have to learn uh, visual communication, which is basically everything. Uh, some classes mm -hmm. call it VizCom. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to painting classes. You have to know how to paint the figure. Anatomy is a big deal. If you wanted, to, you know, uh, the three of us, do, then you have to also know animal anatomy from life mm -hmm. constantly. Uh, uh, you, um, you earn the right uh, to use your imagination. Yeah, That's once you learn, like, yeah, once you've learned, learned how to mm -hmm. effectively make with just a pencil, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everything. Um, you know, please, please take that advice. Because I, I learned that the hard way. As, as Jared said, I started early. So I made a lot of mistakes. And I had enough time to backtrack. And, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, I really do need to keep working on my anatomy. Well, um, you have to learn everything. The, the other thing that allies is it's all this same thing when you boil down the, the process of you know, drawing an object similar to drawing a human figure. There are things that, that the human figure does differently, object, but just being able to define the volume alone, it's it's the same breakdown of human figure. In geometric shapes, you can break down objects in geometric be able to place a figure in perspective, just like the object. So it's all connected. Even painting, painting and sculpting is is related i was just we were having earlier where you know painting in value is um if you do something in grayscale every time you add a highlight and a shadow you are adding clay or removing clay that's right you know, that that's all you're doing, creating the illusion of lighting uh, uh, so it's all the same thing uh, it, it, it's more similar than it actually Really is different, um, and that's something is when you have the foundation, and um, that's that's the one thing you can't get. Grams, you know, they might take a while, but it doesn't take as long, uh, you know, to learn. It takes to draw thoroughly, or you know, in ZBrush, you know, you can figuratively. It takes a lot longer to learn how to sculpt. Yeah, uh, the so the it's it's the maturity of that yeah of that process. 
as well because it i i feel like it does change as you get older it does yeah you're um more what they're supposed to when you're when you're older and you have that that experience (laughs) i think um a lot of people have you know and I, i used to think that i had this tremendous advantage uh early and what i'm realizing is the only advantages had were uh, understanding the industry earlier, understanding it of me so that I could focus on it. But Point. I look at my drawings and you're literally limited by how communicates with your hand. So, so it's really like, how well do you actually know that connection? How well do you know the, your body? And so mm. if those like verbs aren't, connected like you're you're kind of spinning your met people you know who uh started in their 20s or or pursued it much later on than i did but their mind to hand ways they're like it's all connected so you know with the proper instruction leaps and bounds um and with me it was just this this crawl in, in terms of a learning process so it's it's interesting. Like if you're urged because you think you're you're too old, uh, that's not necessarily a good discouragement. <laughs> it's not valid necessarily. I would add, um, great answer. Uh, I would add uh, to that um, learning storytelling, uh, like yeah. where your character fits into the grander story. Because okay, creatures. Uh, Creatures tend to be fodder for heroes to fight, and yeah. they tend to be, um, you know, they're, they're usually not the star of the show, they're, you know, because you're paying an actor with a pretty face uh, to mm-hmm. deliver lines about how frightened they are of a creature. <laughs> and so knowing storytelling, knowing where your kind of uh, creature fits into that is also helpful to understand, knowing I think story structure, but also like uh, a creature character, uh, a, a creature or a monster mm-hmm. with a personality. Um, yeah. You have to you have to imbue that character with a soul, right? And, and I think that comes from learning uh, uh, not just storytelling, but like who a character is and how they become what they are. Uh, because it, in a way, you're you're we've talked about this before, but it's kind of like casting. Um, you're casting a, a, a shape and a personality behind all that as well. So uh, in addition to uh, uh, the VizCom side of things, I would say storytelling is, is the biggest chunk uh, in, in addition to that. Oh, yeah. Read the um, old screenplay. I mean, that'll tell you. Yes. Yeah. Almost every right there. I mean, it, it breaks down the hero's journey. Um, it's, yeah, it, it is essential. Uh, but yeah, you just, you just have to work from observation. Like, you know, I'm looking at, at, you know, actors I like plus Mm -hmm. every, all I've ever seen, you know, on a person's face, you know, just trying to like really, um, a bank of, of observations coming together, um, you know, fill an assignment, fill in needs of an assignment. Uh, and uh, really, no. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Uh, mo- most importantly, don't be afraid to mess up. It is uh, it is an absolute necessary part of the process. The only reason why artists are good is they've just been messing up long, longer than you. You know, they have that uh, <laughs> of experience of being terrible for so long you got to be terrible for a long time before you do anything good it's very true um and that, yeah. that my, my point on medium which I, i've made a couple of times because i do obviously working in 3d um but if you want to be a designer you have to design with a faster medium than than 3d uh, mm-hmm. that's why drawing is so important i've done so many bad drawings and explored so many bad of design just with pen and paper. You know, I, my, the, my gotten through is, is 
so much greater than a person who just draw uh, who just designs in in 3d uh so that that's really you know a lot of people who you know look at my portfolio it's it is misleading like everything's resolved uh so the journey mm -hmm. isn't it's very clear that draw and and really lean into uh the frustration of being terrible you know it'll just make you better <laughs> Yeah. You know, when, when we work, when we get, when we work together, I mean, I, I remember you sitting down and, um, and drawing a lot. Uh, you would, you would really sit down for a, a good chunk of time. And, and I remember being just fascinated at how you could rip out ideas over and over. Um, because, uh, you just, you had so much mileage. It was, it was, uh, you know, intimidating and impressive and inspiring and all of those things. Yeah, I mean, just more mileage than you at the time. I mean, yeah. everything yeah. is obtainable. Um, but yeah, pen, pen and paper. I mean, I've, I've, I've screwed, I screwed up more than you at that. Time. <laughs> that was, that was good. And it, it's so, it's so important too. But it, again, you know, it, it really, it. It depends on the job. I mean, I'm I'm doing right now. It's it's really exciting. Like right now, I'm doing a lot of like um, anime looking manga stuff. And, and man, set that in 3D effectively. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like you can't do it. So you got it. You got to draw that. There's 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 just no way. Um, that's that's. That's why I, I did the uh, series actually, um, which is you know the tutorials. I, I released part two recently. That's right. And you've got part two. Up. Yeah. And if uh, yeah. Uh, if you haven't checked this out, anybody, uh, make sure you you go ahead and pick this up because uh, part one was fantastic, and part two is you know, you. You know, even uh, more amazing. Oh yeah, man. Um, it, it's it's a lot of fun to watch you work through an idea and then to see how you resolve it, you know, all the way to finish is pretty incredible. So how long did that take? This time? Look at that guy. Like what a Oh, dude, yeah, it, it'd be forever. It'd be forever. Yeah. I mean, it, that's and, more and of an asset job. Yeah, it's just yeah. more, that's more of an it, asset job at that point. It's limited um, by the time that you have. So, you know, when you're uh, in 3D, you know, depending on how much time you have, like, you could be pulled from all of your other assets. You, you are mm -hmm. probably kitbashing all of all oh, yeah. 3D artists. I'm a kitbash. So you're actually limited as to what to be because of the time and what you have at your disposal. And then you might, you know, and, and that's, that's an issue. You don't want to shop as a concept artist. You want to have yourself in there as possible. Granted, you can buy yeah. a screw. You can buy, you know, gin. But like, man, if you buy like, like a Vitaly Bulgarov kit, who's right. the designer? Vitaly Bulgarov yeah, yeah, yeah. is brilliant. <laughs> like, I don't want that anywhere near my original concept. Yeah. Because it's, it's already <laughs> going to influence what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. It's a collaboration at best at the end. so yeah, yeah like gotta, that language has already been established, you know, it, it makes it, yeah. it it does it does take away from like you're saying with the screws and stuff. I mean, there have been a million times where it's like, well, I'll just use the same strap and same screw yeah. just to just to show that maybe there's something here, right? And then then hopefully you yeah. get some more get time to resolve it. that idea, right? But yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot of a lot of wisdom in that for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard. I mean, it, you have to ask yourself what is you know design at the end of the day. And I, I've come to realize actually uh, uh, that I don't care about medium as as much as I I thought I did. Like I don't I don't care if and it's just a sketch now. Um, Whatever, whatever best job, and that's that's a thing that people 
need to be aware of. Um, if you can't draw or handicapped uh, in a mm-hmm. scenario mm-hmm. where a client needs a very different options in a short amount of time, that's going to be very hard for someone who can't draw. It's crazy. It was crazy. Uh, we got another question uh, for from Dope Pope. Uh, yeah. Are there any IPs? Are there any IPs you haven't worked on that you're eager to? Uh, oh, we got it. We stumped them. <laughs> I, I I've been really lucky. Uh, um, I've always wanted to do a cinema Wolverine. Oh um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have been so lucky. Almost every bad guy I've ever cared to work on, every hero I've ever cared that about. That is so awesome, dude. <laughs> it's very lucky. It's super lucky. Um, I guess the, the, the my own stuff, like that's that's the only thing left. I mean, yeah. I can get very excited about a property, but uh, like I'm I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. What do you get the man who's got everything? His own thing. <laughs> His own thing. I love my own. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, man. That's the goal, right? Tricky. Yeah. What's the end game? And it, it's cool. I I think I. I might know it. Perfectly happy just being a concept guy, and he's happier hmm. than I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, um, so another question. Guys, I just make that transition. Mm-hmm. Uh, another question is: um, Is there a project you've worked on that you are the most proud of? Um, stumped him. Well, I think I think it's Thanos. Um, yeah. Oh wow! And I, it's I mean I'm 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 proud of Batman, but you know it's it's it was a collaborative process. Um, and you know with Bat so much source material out there that you're you're right you're contributing to the world, uh, but. You know, I'm not the first person to come up with knuckles on the gloves. You know what I mean? Um, right. But with this, with um, the thing that I'm I'm proud of is I was working with you know some of the most incredible artists in the industry, um, and this is a version of of Thanos that had really been seen before. And, and, so I got to it's something that was kind of new to it, and uh, and and you know it's 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 me in my choices, That's you know awesome. at the at, so it's, it's uh, that, that that was a big that was a big win I guess also I was proud of uh, I mean there are like. Like I was on Chi, I did the big evil dragon at the end of it, and dude, you know, it and might that be thing kind of was reasonable. awesome. <laughs> it, was, it, was it was rad. But, it was really rad. But like that was exciting because yeah. I did something kind of for myself. Uh, but would go for it. It was like they had <laughs> thrown and scary score, and you know they've. Gary, what about the kids? You know, and like, like, all right. Well, at the time, they were like, like a, you know, they weren't sure if it came from hell was, but but they wanted it to be horrifying. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll I'll give you a horror. You're not gonna pick it. And then, uh, they start, started to to really gravitate towards it. So, yeah, that was that was another another thing. It's they're all they're all, um, it's fun seeing your stuff on screen. It, oh, it, yeah. Let me really ask you this. Hmm. Uh, what it because I, I used to, uh, I, I, it's kind of a high that you feel when you see, yeah, something that you've made, uh, on screen. Yeah. Um, 
let me let me ask you this what was something that got you that high like where when you saw it on screen you were like oh my god there it is like this is like did, was there something you saw that that just got you so jazzed and so excited like what what makes jared morantz geek out now uh well there were a few there were a few because i've been i've been fortunate um like thanos batman for the first time yeah um and steppenwolf was was very emotional for me dude steppenwolf um, is is i mean it's incredible dude it's one of my favorite designs thank you for, forever every part of it is just <laughs> so so sick then fucking hands on that guy dude yeah he look man, at yeah. those hands yeah the hands. look at those hands and the funny thing was like i remember doing the hands and i'm just like they're never even gonna see these <laughs> damn hands why am i even bothering and there's that motion swat where like yeah you see it right a couple of seconds or like yeah. even gray superman mm -hmm. i was like wow you really featured through the hands um this was emotional because originally just league represented professional disappointments um because uh this league was such a tremendous honor um i i started off with a amazing team of artists it was it wasn't seen securis uh ian number bringing yeah bringing, uh, oh, wow. ian, yep. and, yeah he's phenomenal and then uh phil Boutet for and yep. uh this is so much to to do on that show good working relationship with uh, the costume designer mike wilkinson where um some trust and out of all, all of the team eventually you know um production moved overseas to, to the uk and they took me and i was oh. i was ecstatic and it was a ton of work so you know i left everything and uh you know i, I did uk for like three and a half months and the assignments were amazing. Like it's like these characters from my childhood that I absolutely loved. Oh, so and awesome. then you know, of course, they didn't do it. <laughs> you know, like I got, <laughs> I got there, and I got, I got some cool bat suits up there. Um, and you know, it was absolutely the costume designer, you know, Michael Wilkinson, going back and forth, seeing, you know, what I wanted, um, and. Uh, it was it was the highlight of my, um, and then uh, it didn't happen. A, a shadow of it happened, you know. Uh, yeah. And it it came out. It's like, where's where are all these other guys that I got? Where, yeah. Where's the sod? Where's where's dark side? Um, and so that was that that was a tre tremendous disappointment. Uh, I learned a lot on that show, and then. then Several years later, Steppenwolf shows up. The Sod and Dark Side show up, and it was just a complete mind oh, man. screw, dude. Because Seeing it was Dark Side. It was a very educational thing for me, um, because that, that that was my I, that was that was kind of my breaking point. Changed um, me as an artist. I'd pushed my work further than I had ever gone before, and it was a tremendously disappointing. I pushed myself the furthest I'd ever gone before. I brought two computers with me to the UK, so I had one at and one one at the office. And so as soon as I went to the the flat uh, and I worked through the weekends, I just kept going and going and going because I loved, loved it so much, and uh, it felt like it was all for nothing. And I was like, you know what? This is this is a really good teaching moment. Like it's right. not your movie, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, in your control um, at all. It was a sobering experience, uh, and it got me me ready for um, Avengers because oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I didn't know it was changing while I was on Avengers. So I went into Avengers with a lot less anxiety. You know, I'm sitting there and and you know. I'm getting these great assignments, but I'm like ensemble of heroes and villains. I already won, and I already did this. This is not <laughs> <laughs> like, like whatever. Um, and Jared, and so I you, was a lot calmer. 
have moved around a lot like that before? Like you said, you went you, you went out of country. Have you uh? Up. Yeah, it was just a lot. Of How's that now? Uh, and uh, won't be able to do that again. I got I got two beautiful kids at home that I'm not leaving yeah. for some Yeah, you, yeah, that. you got babies now. Yeah. Uh, let and my wife. I mean, hmm. Uh, well, I was I was gonna ask uh, I was gonna ask a question about kids, but but keep going. I wanted to hear that. Oh, and and it was actually hard on my wife at the time too, which was was funny to me because you know I thought I thought she'd break for me because I'm so obnoxious. All I do is <laughs> I thought she'd be so into it. It was like three months. You know, I'm not going to be talking your ear stuff you don't want to hear about how I figured out how to render mm -hmm. something new and in key shot or this thing because you know it bores her to tears. Mm -hmm. um, um, but it was hard on her, and, uh. and I was—I I guess I was surprised. I was so busy, I didn't even feel it really. Um, it was surprising to to do that. I think that time in my life is is over. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel really that. I, I, when you're young, I, I think when you're young and detached, yeah. uh, it's much easier to go around, and and you should, you should definitely go and travel and live, yeah. and uh, especially because the job, this kind of job, can allow that to happen. Uh, you can go live overseas and work, and um, so I, I I feel the same way. I'm I'm too grounded here uh to go yeah, you're not leaving now. your boy no 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 there's no, no way, way. Leave for several months no I mean, uh, maybe no it'd be, if, it would if be they offered to like fly him out with you because that happens yeah. I remember well you know uh, uh my my wife has gotten those offers um uh, mm -hmm. you know she's uh she's in production so she, we've had those offers to like cart us all up and go uh, but the logistics of it right now is it's it's bonkers, so we just haven't haven't found that opportunity. Um, you could do it. Let though. me. I mean, if the pandemic, we could. Pandemic taught us it. you're mobile. Yeah, it's possible. I yeah. mean, I, I don't know you, yeah. you. I'm running everything off of an iMac. Like I can go <laughs> anywhere. Uh, you you got it probably a crazy system. I, I have a. I, if you want to see it, I'll. I'll here, let me. Uh, I do. He runs off an iPad. Let me, let me. Let me show you what I've got going on over here. Uh, it's this thing. Ah, uh, I don't even know what that. Is. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> you, you, it looks like you Tokyo in there. That? Yeah. Yeah. What's and then, and then there's 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 Mecha Godzilla in there. Uh, and then you can see I've got I've got toys. So you got to have toys. Uh, yeah. but you got yeah this you thing have, uh, this thing you your, your wins you you gotta have yeah your you gotta wins have around win. yeah 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 to remind and you you know what I mean I remember when uh, when Mechagodzilla came out and I was I was so happy for you dude it's there, there are a few there are a few points of Mechagodzilla it was like wow he did something incredible. <laughs> Like, not only was it was it incredible, but like, do it. <laughs> like, no, like, dude, I, it's straight up could, flawless, dude. It's uh, it's, it's, insane. it's it's insane. It's yeah. insane. I couldn't, I couldn't have built that thing. And you, you like, wow, yeah. man. It, that, I don't even. That thing yeah. was. Wow. Even like that. That thing is gonna. That that thing's going to be in a special place for a long time i oh, think because yeah. just like the intricacy of it there's, there's so many things about the design also it's not necessarily supposed to work but the story makes it work yeah. because you know yeah. is he made up of so many pieces it was like ants <laughs> ants built yeah. him <laughs> yeah you know so of course it intricate because yeah. you can't make a piece of steel that's like three stories high of that big yeah yeah you know so so it made it made 
perfect, perfect sense. I remember some guy on, uh, and you're nice, you're very nice online. I ignore, I ignore stuff like that. He was getting on you out, like, like the fins aren't sharp. That's a missed opportunity. Yeah. And you're up there, and, and you're you're saying you said something like, "Oh, you know, maybe okay." You you were you were, you were nice. About it. And as a designer, I'm just like, because make something three stories sharp, you dumb. You know, it's just like, yeah. Oh. You know, well, I mean, also, like, I mean that. that stuff. The the tail fins. Um, I was looking at uh, Mecha King Ghidorah. So th those were actually, mm -hmm. um, you know, that was a direct reference to him. So you know, it 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 was. Uh, I I I did a yeah. Uh, uh, let me uh, pull him up because it's it's Ghidorah, mm -hmm. the three headed dragon. Um, oh, know. and there's a mecha version. Yeah, yeah there's a mecha yeah. version of him. And uh, and I didn't know. So you were a big. Uh, I was um, I was a big Godzilla fan all the way back, um, but oh, like, yeah. okay, uh, it wasn't. I, you know, it's not like so, like uh, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go be a designer and work on you know uh, uh, Godzilla stuff. It just, yeah. it just happened, and um, yeah, and and so just like, it just landed in front of you. Yeah. yeah, right, right in front of me. Um, so there are there are callbacks. Um, in in his design that I was calling to, oh. uh, when uh, when doing it, so I mean, I, I was I was doing I was delved in, you know. I was like, I looked at all the Mecha Godzillas. I was like, what's been done before? What can I do that's new? You know, I was just trying to, you know, because because you know I already had a Mecha Godzilla on screen, and it was like, there's no way I'm gonna right. get two. It doesn't happen. Uh, oh. uh, well, you know, like, like yeah, you no said, it happened. Yeah. Nostalgia. It wasn't, you know, um, you know, taking it to the next. Like, oh, remember Mecha Godzilla? That's what that was. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're just like, like he looks like now. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. an yeah. incredible journey. What was your? Is that all? No way. Uh yeah yeah they were uh uh. We're talking about you, Jared. Um, <laughs> well, I, we haven't talked in a while, and I—I I like know it's been—it's been—it's been a while. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's all—it's all zebra. You know, the, it was the okay. only way that I could—I could pose him. Okay. Yeah. So I, that's a, it's insane. Chain brush, right? You this you made this, it. You got the tail, right? This was one piece of, uh, it was a job, you know, uh, uh, instance, not instance, but duplicated and, and shrunk down. And then I used the, uh, the curve, the bend curve modifier in the Z modeler. That's how I, that's how I bent this. That was the only way that I could do that. Huh. That's uh, interesting. Uh, I, do I don't it, even do know what you're talking do, about. That, that's not do how. Do you want to see a demo? I would have done it. I don't know. I don't know that trick. Do we, do we, am I going to teach? Jared Moran something? Um really? like that's never happened before. I would always oh, bug you pot. about this. Um I okay, remember, so I, I always send you stuff too. I'm just like remember I had that fur product that monster a while yes. ago and, and you're like, uh oh, yeah. your your UVs got flipped. Hi. Okay. I like being your guy. I'll be your guy. Um all right, you're so this is just this is really uh, a really bad. Let me. I'm trying to show off now. Um, all right, so we've got. Okay. We've got our pieces, right? What you do is okay. in the gizmo. I'm following you so far. Uh, in the what gizmo. Gizmo. This, yeah. the gizmo. So you That's you what know transpose. Now, uh, Jared, what what software is yeah. this? This is. Uh, this is, my is this Mar is this Mario Paint? Yeah, this is Mario kidding? Paint. <laughs> All right. So, so when you hit Y, you're in the Gizmo, right? Gotcha. But okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Bro, but buddy, we got to sit down. Actually, call the Gizmo one day, and I'll uh, I'll give you the full I'll give you the full thing. Yeah. Um, but if you go in here, I into, more. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but up here in the the 
the gear, if you click this gear, there's all kinds of deformers in here. This is this is what I use. So I use something called bend curve because you can create these little dots in here. Yeah. So if you create a bunch. Anyway, so this is how I posed his tail was just with this. And it, it looks janky right now. Yeah. It looks janky now, but it, it when um when I was working with those other pieces of geometry, uh this mm -hmm. it looks much smoother mm -hmm. than this. But this is how I was this is how I would bend uh his tail. That's that's how that's how I got this to work. Yeah. It, okay, it worked. So I wouldn't have done it like that. Uh <laughs> surprised. I mean, I know that's actually very like okay, so that's a much easier way than a rig on a tentacle. Like if you have to work really yeah. fast, like that's pretty cool. But yeah, I don't, I I don't use these spears anymore for that stuff. For posing? No, never. Or you just use no the snake they're... hair. Yeah, yeah. You can you can snake it. You can snake out a brush. You can create a tripart brush and do it that way. But um, now, yeah, now that, I won't. Yeah, that's how I would have done your tail, but I don't do as good. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, impressive. Uh, we had remember our conversation. We we've had a few great conversations, but I remember a conversation at I think it was like a signing. I was doing you showed up to like and then we were up at the parking structure talking for much longer than we should which is yeah. always our yeah. um and I remember you you were talking about concept art and I were saying you know there's one of two ways you can go you know you can either dive into you know drawing and painting or you can into the technology and and Mm -hmm. really uh you know learn the all the in and outs there and um that's that so you like like you absorb yeah. this stuff and that's why you're my guy you know for questions you brought key shot into my life yeah and of course you know the first time i saw it i was bullshit you can just render it in zbrush why am i doing this <laughs> and then of course i saw the results you because <laughs> you know i'm yeah. i'm a stubborn mule and but you just like that's that's so honorable i i was in uh beautiful <clears throat> i was in a very hungry state i think um because the the years of of uh when we worked together were so formative for me as as an artist as a as a person um i you know and and then you would come by you know you would walk by my desk uh, and it, we were in a very small office and, you know, you would come by and you drop pointers or you'd say like, try this, try this. Um, that was so formative for me. Uh, and, and, you know, you were my, my guiding star, you know, uh, I, I learned everything from you and oh, thank you. it was, I mean, it was, it was what what a group of guys that were there because it was you and um joel and tim yeah. and alex and um and kelton and luca, luca. And, kelton. and we had uh uh really I, I think it was just such a stellar group of people so i couldn't help but get better because i was surrounded by by artists who were really at a you know working at a high level i mean you I couldn't help it. Yeah. So I, I, I went home and I, I remember uh, really being hard on my work because I wasn't up to snuff with the rest of you guys. So I was, I was pushing myself very hard, uh, you know, at, because I had to <laughs> just to, yeah, just to feel like I can survive. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Just don't, I know. Well, it's just like, like, like yeah. you just don't want to be the weak. Link. I yeah. don't want to be the bad J pile. That's it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I still feel that way sometimes. Uh, you know, I, just, uh, I guess it never goes away. Yeah. No, it, it. I don't think it does. No, the fear no. is always real, especially with new clients, man. Especially 
whenever you're a couple of weeks in, they're like, oh, we got so-and-so else on the job. And you're like, okay, well, crap. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, then what just does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, well, then I quit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Get I'm out, out of here. here. <laughs> I'm not going to waste um, your money. Like, come on. So, Jared, let me ask you this. It's because, like, um, we hmm. we've known each other for for uh, going on, I want to say twelve years, maybe more. Um, I want to say maybe, decade. yeah, over a decade. Oh no. Uh, well, I I went to Noman in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Um, so it's it's probably been like, oh, he cut out. Well, well, uh. Well, while we wait for up, oh, up, oh, he's coming back. There we go. He's I'm coming back. back. He's back at it. Are you back in? I'm back. Okay, he's back. Okay. Um, so we've so, known each other. Yeah, ten like over ten years, and the difference now is mm -hmm. that we are we're much older, uh, for one. Uh, yeah. I'm only a year older than you, um, but yeah. we are now parents. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're now parents uh, on top of that. And I'm wondering yeah. how parenting has changed uh, how you feel about the art. Uh, uh, that's a good question. Recently, I recently took on a kid's movie um, um, something that I wouldn't I wouldn't match because I want my kids to see my work. And I want to do something, you know, for them. It's made me a little goofier, which is which is good. I've I've yeah, done a few characters, yeah, for um, for even movies that my kids, where I'm just trying, I, I'm I'm trying to make things that are more kid friendly, show off to my kids because, um, dude, that's awesome. I've, I've um, you know, like I have like a Steppenwolf toy. That my 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 kid plays with Corsilla and everything, um, or you know you're lucky. You you also have a Pete's dragon. Throw a Pete's dragon, yeah. kid. I don't have anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I signed for you know a really fun kids movie, and I'm surprised that because um, like what about my portfolio? You know, makes me <laughs> think I'm the right guy, but okay, you know the opportunity presented itself, so I'm gonna do it so that's that's changed it um working from home home is excellent i love running into the house and like a couple of minutes and getting back to it and like seeing them all day is, is great um and also you know it, it makes me want to be uh, a little bit better at the business just simply because because you know if i'm going to be taking time away from them then uh, better be to make their lives uh, better and give them opportunities. If I'm if I'm not there, you know, so I won't just do anything. I was like, now now I'm really sticking to my guns in terms of like like providing for like oh this is fun, but you know that doesn't that doesn't you know pay for so eh, never mind. I'm not going to do it. It's a fair so, point. Yeah, it, it's it's been that. Uh, how about you? How, what's, what is it? How has it affected you? Well, uh, I, I I think, uh, you know, when, when I worked on Mechagodzilla, uh, Liam was a baby. So literally I had to run mm -hmm. out of the hospital and finish off some images, send those off, run back to the hospital uh, to be with my newborn. Really? Yeah. Uh, wow. So I, I, you know, I, I had two children at the same time kind of thing. And then, yep. uh, years later, three years later, cause the movie was delayed. Um, I'm putting the toy in his hands and, um, and I, I had a very, I would say powerful emotional reaction to that. Um, mm -hmm. Because it it brought back that kind of flood of what being a kid meant again, uh, playing with toys and seeing monsters and 
uh, things like that. So it, it was, uh, it brought a lot of stuff to the surface. <laughs> uh, That's wonderful. Who with you yeah. uh, running out to. to well, she was exhausted. Context. Yeah, she was exhausted. Okay. So she, uh, she didn't, you know, she was fine. Um, but it was, I, you know, I was gone for maybe like two hours, you know, at the most. Uh, but wow. yeah, I had to, I had to go run and deliver it some images. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and they were like, you know, they're, they're, they're texting me on the phone. We're like, we are so super sorry, but <laughs> we, we got to get these out. Um, wow. And, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that could have waited. That really could have waited. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I was Jackie like, Jackie is awesome. She is amazing. Uh, yeah. but uh, you know, it was, it was Mecha Godzilla. So I, I had to, you know, it was, uh, it was crazy, but, but it. now, but now Liam is playing with that toy. You know, he, he yep. plays with Godzilla toys and all that stuff. So just like, like I was, I was a Godzilla fan as a kid because my, my, uh, my grandparents had a Godzilla toy and, um, that's uh -huh. so, and I, and I still have it, uh, to this day this no this, way yeah this was the this was the original shogun warriors godzilla that my grandparents had uh -huh. and they only had this um they only had oh, let me put that up there we go so you can see it um they only had this guy because uh my grandparents were part owners in a pepsi bottling factory um Really? So this was a a promotional toy. So as as a kid, I had no idea Godzilla existed. This was my first introduction to Godzilla. And so when uh, mm -hmm. it, it so it felt like passing the torch in a way, you know, just getting to yeah. uh, that's that's off. beautiful. That's really beautiful. You know, it it could feel. And, you know, I thought about this, before, but like, it kind of makes me feel like sometimes these assignments, if you do everything you're supposed to do, and if you, you get yourself and you bust your ass and you work really hard, sometimes the assignment just find you. Isn't that yeah. weird? I mean, that. That's kind of experience. It's like, okay, there are a lot of things that I love. And I I didn't hunt any of it down. Mm -hmm. It just kind of came to me. It's very uh, odd. If you want to call that manifesting, but I would say you could call that manifesting. To a degree. Yeah, I guess I guess you can't I, mean, I, I struggle like, with those comments. I mean, you know, dude, when when we were working together. You were the mm -hmm. you were the Batman fan, you know, and and I yeah. we all love Batman. Everybody loves Batman, but you loved Batman, and yeah. you know I I I would ask you like, what do you want? What do you what do you you know? What's your guy? And you're like, well, I want Batman. And years later, really? you got that you got Batman, and and I was like, I was wow. and that was a lesson that was a lesson for me, um in. Mm -hmm setting your intention on what you want and then letting go. And then it comes to you. So it was, that you know, is a, but I mean, I never thought, I never thought I'd have him, you know, I never thought I would, I would do him, but I had, no. I had another very weird moment when I was at Marvel first show galaxy. And yeah. I was hanging out with my buddy, uh, Anthony Francisco, who is yep. insanely, um, very and good. we both started There's at Marvel. Marvel at the same time, and uh, and you know it's Guardians of the Galaxy. And it's one of the first times I'm on a show where it's just like aliens and cool suits and like and like that. And I, was, I remember just saying like, incredible. I mean, I I could do this all the time. I mean, we're so, so lucky. And like the only thing uh, ever doing that would be cooler than this would be like God, I don't Justice League or something. And like. <laughs> <laughs> Those words came out of my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> you know and that's so, awesome. There is something to for it, but it's not like you can't 
just say it. You have to you have to dedicate yourself. Yeah. You got to put yourself in that position, and and maybe it'll it'll come to me. I mean, you you, or... you you work your ass off, right? You know, to get the skills that that are required yeah. um, of the job, yeah. and. We, I, I, I also think we happen to be living in, you know, uh, we've lived through this kind of golden age of superhero films, yes, yeah. uh, yeah, and so and CGI blockbusters. So we, we've just happened to be at the right place at the right time, and you yeah. know, a, a serious amount of all like dedication and talent, you know, uh, that's 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 come to that. Interesting thing, like I would argue. Like, Mecha Good Godzilla wouldn't look as good as it does. Go to an artist that loved it. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. that's so. I mean, there's a reason why, you know, sometimes the assignments find you. Um, Matt's probably going to end up doing the next Hellraiser. Like, there's no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> He's not paying. Oh, he is paying attention. There he is. <laughs> no, I mean that was we that was my experience, and that was my experience with Venom. Was like whenever that job came in, I the very next mm -hmm. day, man, I brought in I brought in 50, 50 comic books and just passed them out. I was like, you know, here's here's Eric Larson, here's Todd McFarlane, here's uh, you know uh -huh. Mark Bagley, and I designed Venom in my. Well, I didn't design the final version of Venom, but working on it, I was like it would be against my everything if I didn't make it a Mark Bagley Venom. And I was like, this is, you know, it was that, the, that passion just came through. I grew up reading Spider-Man. I grew up spending my childhood in, you know, comic book stores by myself. And the, the Venom character, the Carnage character, Maximum Carnage, Lethal Protector, all that stuff, man, it was like, it was a pipe dream. I was like, just even being a part of this is amazing. Yeah, it finds you. It's it's very odd. It, it's it's really hard to describe. If if you put yourself in that position, uh, it will find you. And it's it's also Jared. And it's just like, it's so lucky that we are yeah. uh, that it, that it worked out. Like, why 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 are we able to support? It's no sense. It's a, it, it's a very bizarre job uh, that somehow exists. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and how did that how did that line up? That's that's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, a a little bit of serendipity, I think. I think I think so. It it's it's a ton of hard work. Um, yeah. But. Yeah, it's gotta be. There's, there's gotta, gotta be something else. I mean, it, it's hard work. We're all, you know, living just a few miles away from these studios and things that line up. Um, but yeah, that's very and very wonderful. Um, yeah, it, uh, it's, it is obtainable. You know, not every. I, I think, and and as a as a teacher, I always do accurately describe the job and what was necessary and how demanding it was in order to reap the benefits. That was the one thing that I was, a lot of people want to do it, uh, but not everybody knows the hours. Yeah. And, yeah. The, the commitment, and, um, the disappointment, the dedication, like everything that comes with it, it's, it's pretty intense. It really is. It's, it's not production work because in production work, the concept is done. You're trying to match yeah. it to a certain level of execution. You know, in, in design work, it's anyone's game. You can be 90% into a design and someone else can take it that last 10% and it can be their design. And it's like, well, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's a rough spot for sure. Yeah, that is. I had, I had a conversation recently with, with the designer and, you know, he got one of his babies he's on on a big show that you know it's a visual effects character and so once you get a visual effects character approved, what maybe you know a seven 
seventy percent chance that what you did green at that point because it's gone, right. it's going to go through many yeah. ends, and there are a lot yeah. of things that have to happen in order yeah. for it to stay yours. Um, which again goes to movie. <laughs> it's uh, it's this not is man. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, no. No. Nothing. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. But it's a wonderful. It's a, uh, It's worth it. Uh, if you're willing to put the time in, yeah. uh, I've I've heard it as the the highs are very high and the lows are very low. Yeah. If <laughs> if if you can't if you can put it at that distance of making it you know just like a good acquaintance, then you are. Are pretty bad <laughs> if it's if it <laughs> again, you know, to you. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, the the thing that hurts the most, you know, is just not getting that that recognition or that credit in the film. You know, as as silly as it may seem to some people, it's like, man, you know, like if there was one thing I could ask for in some of these jobs that we spend like months on, like locking in to get one to one designs, it's like, you know. It'd be nice to yeah. at least have some recognition on it. <laughs> yeah. But there are a lot of things that keep you from that recognition. Like, it's politics. Yeah. Uh, it's, Big time. It's runtime. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all, you know, it's, it is what it is. But the cool part is you can still hopefully... You know, one day post the artwork and get the attention yeah. and right. get another cool gig at the yeah. end of the day. So yeah. the, I, I got to a point where I was just like, oh, good. My name's up there. And, you know, it doesn't hurt as much if they miss me um, <laughs> because I was just like, eh, I, I got I have attention. It wasn't as devastating before. Like, I remember my first credit uh, from when I was a kid working over at Stan Winston's was for for, for a movie called The Deaths of Ian Stone. It's a simple film, but it meant a lot to me. And they uh, credit me as uh, Jarnell Martinez. <laughs> uh, yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Jarnell Martinez. You, you see wow. my wife laughing. Jarnell Martinez. Exactly like that when we were wow. in the theater. Dude, and is, she was like, that's uh, cool Jarnell well. Martinez. That's and so good. She lost her shit. She was she was laughing like crazy, and I was that just like, so "I funny. worked so hard." <laughs> yeah, and they got my name wrong, mm -hmm. oh, man. But then you know that that was that was a very good lesson. I was like, oh, I guess it doesn't. <laughs> I guess I guess not. You know, there's nothing. It's nothing you. Yeah, it's your, outside of your control for sure. Your battles. It's another one of those the things part. where you just you just want it. Yeah, part now that I'm experiencing is is you know limitations on on post. Uh, that's that's true. right. Um, yeah, it, the the way that you can build a a, a, a you know online is that you know you're either you're either doing your own stuff and putting it out there or out artwork that that you can uh, yeah uh, that, that, that you know gets clearance and now you know it's, it's getting harder and harder and harder to get clearance yeah, yeah. and that's an it, issue it, because it's, it's it's worrisome yeah yeah how else are you going to continue to get the attention to draw the walls that's that is tricky uh, it's a bit unfair because, uh, you know, you have to grind even harder to, to get, you know, to get that, you know, you, you need, yeah. uh, you need that visibility yet. It's getting harder to get that visibility. Um, one thing I, I wanted to ask you about, um, is how you've seen the art industry change over the years. Uh, because what I've seen is that I feel like it, uh, with the uh, with social media and uh, every you know how it's changed, is there's a glut of artists now. Yeah. Um, 
that were always there but are now more visible than ever. Yeah. They're visible and they're accessible. And they're very good. They're very good. They're visible, they're accessible, they're very good. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I think, I think it's wonderful. At the same time, that's happening. Mind like, there's more, more work than there's ever been for guys like us. True. You know, all the digital media, all, all the streaming platforms, movies, video games, apps, uh, now NFTs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't been, I haven't been worried really about all the artists um, out there, it just seems to be like there's, there's a war. I mean, a lot of people are very good, um, but almost, it almost feels like, like there's enough work for everyone who's good enough. Um, and that's, that's the, something I think uh, people struggle with. Work needs to need to be honest with themselves. Like, is it unfair that you didn't get the job or, or is your portfolio just not there? Right. Right. Especially nowadays. Yeah. Yes. The, the amount of content being produced and consumed uh, all all the time. Uh, it's yep. it's extra. I think it's extraordinary. Oh, it's incredible. There's yeah. so much uh, to be done all the time. Yeah. And they're they're mining My new stuff every day. My professional anxiety now is um job offers uh, i hate yeah it's it's the weirdest thing like it's never a day what what drives me nuts is i've committed to something and then i've really long <laughs> and I oh dude every time do it yeah every time it's because because it all that, comes at once it all comes at once yeah that hurts and now yeah. now i'm at the mindset of just like okay well that pays my rate uh, should i wait <laughs> should i turn it down yeah or not what, what do i yeah. how do i um and it yeah it's, that's a that that's my anxiety nowadays is just like oh, i hope i didn't lock myself into because i have i have had to pass on on a lot of cool stuff um and it does it does mess with me sometimes <laughs> i mean it, it's like i've been kind of lucky where like i'll pass on something that i think is amazing and then i'll go see it and i was like i'm relieved that it's not amazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so, oh yeah good that wasn't good <laughs> um I, I want to I want to call this out because I saw this uh, I saw this just come up in the comments, um, and uh, the comment was uh, if everyone is so good then even why try to compete? And I I, I just want to answer that and then uh, I'd love to hear your take, Jared. But um, what yeah, I answer. feel what I feel is that you do it because one you are compelled to do it, and then two you feel like you have something unique to contribute. Yeah. Um, so what, what I, what I having experienced this, uh, because I was surrounded by, uh, when I was working with Jared and I, you know, I was surrounded by very talented artists. Um, what I, what I learned is that I have to feel like I have something that I can contribute. Um, that I, that somewhere in my experience of being me, that there is something that I can add that's unique. And that's why I felt like I could do this too. Um, um, also, yeah. that's something new. Like, let's say the three of us are do doing the same uh, character. Like, Matt, we're all given the same assignment. It all take things very far, um, but one of us is going to guess right. right. And essentially, right. the thing that is right, and I, I've noticed this more than ever, uh, it's been the choices you make. It, it's it's kind of like what kind of person you are. So, like, no matter what I, uh, if Krzyzewski 
does the same assignment, his is going to have a humor to it that mine will not have. You know, yeah. whatever I yeah. produce, I'm guessing he had darkness to it that Matt will bring that I won't. It's not just that, you know, you have this, this drive and compulsion, which you need to have, obviously, but, but there is a possibility on that show they might want your like, take, um, right. you know, keep that in mind in in those scenarios um you know like i said the three of us could be on the same assignment let's say we're all doing venom only one of us is going to guess right at the end of the day right right Right. so you be the one that guesses right yeah and and guessing right is dependent on like you know a very small handful of guys if not two people they're like yeah this is the direction you know and have those people read the comics are they fans you know or are they outsiders that don't know anything about the property and they're constantly getting educated on it? Like, it's it goes all the way back to the client. It's like, man, like, you know, what 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 do these people respond to? You know, and uh, I think that just that lands right on top with, yeah, I mean, you're gonna guess right, and it's it's hard to tell unless you know exactly what the client wants if yeah. they're if they're absolutely pristine clear on the direction, you know, which is hardly ever. (laughs) You you never know. Um, It's a very interesting question. I feel like a lot of, a lot of artists, um, including myself just went through a, a complete delusion phase uh, where, (laughs) you know, or just like, (laughs) Like I got this, of course, of course I'm gonna get this. Just some cool and 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 self obsessed and and everything. Because I I believe we touched on like the humility uh, for a lot of us comes with you know sitting or better than than us. Uh, but so many of us have started being like I got this. Nope. <laughs> you yeah. Know? And that that delusional quality carries you through. Um, for a while, that fight carries you through until up, <laughs> and you realize you're not amazing. Um, <laughs> that, that, I, th- I think that's uh, what got me actually. I I just I I was convinced I had all the all the answers, and um, man, I was wrong. <laughs> but, but that that drive that kept that kept me that bullheaded stupidity. I just kept throwing things at it. Um, so we have time for one more question. Uh, mm-hmm. the question comes from, I would have waved way too fast, man. Um, this question mm-hmm. comes from, uh, one of my former students, uh, Jared Modina. So we Ooh. have another Jared. Uh, oh, it's a triple J. I, I don't know why, why Jared's are drawn to this, but we, we sure are. <laughs> we sure are. I don't know what, what it is. Um, he says, uh, hey, Jared, always love your work, especially the 2D. Any advice for someone who's just going to start applying for concept design jobs? I'm sorry, any advice for someone going to apply for concept art jobs? Um, yeah, he's just, uh, so in Jared's case, he's he's out of Nomen. He's, he's going to be leaving Nomen. He wants advice on applying for jobs. Oh. Okay, um, it, you know it was it was a very different time uh, when I was applying to. I would just call them up and 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 walk over with a portfolio. So it's a very different thing. Um, well, what I would say, what I have been saying, is uh, hopefully there are places that that you've always wanted to work for, um, and. Uh, if you haven't been, I would suggest that, uh, you know, you contact them at what they're looking for in a concept artist and make sure that your portfolio caters to, um, so that you can, you know, kind of give yourself a better chance of, of that work. Um, it's very easy to contact people these days. Uh, if you can get an in 
in-person interview, which is even harder than, you know, the pandemic, uh, I, w- I would go for it. But yeah, my started, like, I literally called up uh, Stan Winston's now uh, back in 2005, and I, I, I set up an interview. You know, I, I made a point of getting as much attention as I could by bringing in my portfolio, which was already catered to that kind of work. Um, you know, ready to go at that time. Submitting online, uh, uh, I wouldn't know where to begin. You really have to, you re- really have to stand out, and your your work would have to get you through the first hurdle. So, get your portfolio in a good place. Um, if you're not callbacks, keep working on your portfolio. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jared. Uh, well, that's a great point. Um, I I think uh, the networking side of things is very important. That's, um, that's what got me. That's what got me. Yep. Um, I, I ended up at Legacy because um, my wife is in the PGA, um, and we just happened to see that there was an event for creating creatures, and so we, I was like, oh, shoot, we got to go to this. And um, we, because my wife is a guild member, we went to this thing and I got to show my portfolio to, to Legacy. Um, mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, 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 uh, don't call us, you know, we'll call you. And then a week later they called me. Uh, so it was, mm-hmm. it was uh, what I think is sheer luck. But I would say the networking, the meeting people, um and and uh also be a person don't like uh don't be stalkerish or weird online because it's really easy to come off the wrong way uh yeah you know uh uh it, it's it's such a different landscape now uh but but ultimately it always comes back to the work just keep putting out work uh that's what i do <clears throat> Yeah, if I could, if I could chime in as well. I mean, uh, Marantz, whenever you were telling your story about uh, J.K., it I I felt like there were a lot of par- parallels in my story as well because I got into J.K.'s class and I was like, oh my god, this is something that people can do, and this guy is badass, right? And I was there every day. I was early. I was trying to chat it up before class, and I was nervous, trying to be like, "Hey, man," <laughs> you know. I was like, I was like really trying to engage, and I, I had no idea that it was a real thing, and I was just taken aback by it. And <clears throat> you know, I, I put everything into it, and uh, Krzyzewski saw that, and ultimately, yeah. after, whenever I was graduating. You know, it was Alex Alvarez and uh, Jared Kerchevsky were vouching for me and introducing me personally to, you know, Aaron Sims at ASC and getting me my first job in the in the design world. And that was literally it. Like I took that I took that passion that I had, but I also related it to my previous work experience, which was, you know, being in restaurants and always mm-hmm. just getting at it. You're always getting at it and you've got to be a people person. You've got people mm-hmm. have to be able to at least hang out with you because you're going to be sitting next to these people for hours, you're going to be yep. talking to these people for hours and you know going back and forth with each other and if you land all those things, if you network, if you're hard working, if you're passionate, people are going to notice that. And whenever opportunities come up, they're going to be like, you know what? I can't do it, but I know a guy that probably could. Or, oh, we got an internship coming up. I definitely know someone that we should bring in because he loves this shit, you know? Right. And yeah. and just being fun and, and mm-hmm. being a guy in the room, a yeah. lot of the time, might not be the most talented person, that they oh yeah they, uh, can pick from or the one that they want to be their roommate for the next three months and exactly. so exactly you you're gonna get the job yeah 
Um, and that that's also very valid because, man, one one bad apple in the group, and you know, a great job nightmare. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and especially if you're not, yeah, especially if you're not willing to learn, and if you're not open to critique. And uh, one thing that Ooh. I one thing that I have really learned uh, working, especially production side, is um, age. The age groups are insane. You've got like young guys and super old guys and everyone in between in production. And, you know, the young guys come in and they know all the new shit. And the old guys are like, oh, well, we could do this with, you know, some like archaic technology. <laughs> and the young guys are just going to blow it off, right? Naturally. Because it's like, oh, dude, this is like, you know, they discontinued this software 10 years ago or whatever. But listening to every person with experience, that is the key to this field. Everybody has knowledge. They were making Jurassic Park with NURB Surface's patch model. And that is some of the mm -hmm. best CG to date. You know what I mean? If you know people that worked on Star Wars that worked on, and they're trying to tell you in old archaic language how to do some CG, like you cannot disregard that because there is brilliance there and it made movie magic. And yeah. you have to be willing and open to everything in cg you got to listen to everyone that's one thing that i've noticed like and of the, course it's it's there <coughs> that oh yeah stabilize the industry that you're currently employed in bust their ass <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah for sure very true very it, true i mean i know but they did they did the jurassic park story um mm -hmm. the movies that made it yeah the Net, netflix series and if this rebel didn't decide to go against, you know, his bosses and show Spielberg that he could make a dinosaur skeleton beautifully, uh, then yeah. he probably wouldn't have the awesome industry for him. For sure. For sure. And that's yeah. how production is sometimes. No doubt. You know? um, well, guys, uh, I hate to leave it there, but that's our time for tonight. Mm -hmm. um, so... I want to thank our very special guest, Jared Morantz. Um, Dude, Morantz, it was so good having you, man. Uh, thank you for coming on. Yeah. It's just hanging out, talking with friends. Is I know. That's I know. what it's, we like. It's That's the what best. we like. <laughs> um, so open best. invitation. You are welcome to come back anytime. Uh, and uh, if you ever feel like uh, you want to share some sculpting with us, uh, we certainly wouldn't say no. Yeah, but uh, next time you come back, we got to talk horror movies. Though. We got to talk some horror. We that's, we that's the big deal. We didn't really get to horror. dive into like what what Jared's watching, and because yeah. I I really want to know. We want to know. Uh, we want to know. I do want to know. I want to know. Crime stuff. Very boring stuff. Oh but yeah. No, yeah. Let's let's feel like I feel like this is all this stuff was really important so now that we got that shit out of them talk about goofy yeah, things and movies and oh, toys yeah. that'd be a blast that would be great Let's i would love that. that yeah um so uh thank you everybody for for coming uh thank you to my co-host matt millard thank you to legendary legendary designer jared morantz for, for yeah. helping us with this time we know you're extremely busy um so we 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 love you and and uh, uh we're so grateful that you can hang out thank you to our sponsor lenovo uh for uh for sponsoring creature corner and of course noman school of visual effects for hosting the stream hell yeah uh, thank you everybody enjoy your monster making uh we love you and good night all right